And students in Spartanburg County will also be back in school next week. In fact, volunteers have been packing hundreds of backpacks inside a motorcycle shop in Cowpens today. They'll deliver them to three elementary schools in Spartanburg County tomorrow. Seven News' Jennifer Martin has that story. Over the past two weeks, CNC Thunder in Spartanburg County has brought in thousands of school supplies for Spartanburg School District 3, thanks to a lot of love from this community. This is only the second year that Chris Jolly has held the school supply drive here at his shop in Cowpens and says the response from his community has been overwhelming. The whole concept was you bring us a book bag and we'll spend our money, which we have like $1,500, that we were going to use toward putting supplies in it. On top of the shop's donation, book bags and supplies have poured in from all over the district and beyond. We've even had uh, stuff sent to us from Florida, uh, Maine. As the vice chair for Spartanburg School District 3, he's seen the positive effect extra school supplies can have on teachers and students. I'm married to a school teacher and she tells me stories of kids that don't have things and me being on the school board, I know of kids that don't have things. Now with the first day of school less than a week away, many donors have come back to the shop to pack more than 200 backpacks. We don't want kids going to school unprepared. Assistant teacher Christina Moore says that support from the community makes all the difference. It's a close-knit community and everyone's children's kind of each other. So. <laughs> Tomorrow, volunteers will deliver this huge pile of backpacks to three different elementary schools in Spartanburg School District 3. That's Packlet Elementary, Cowpens Elementary, and Cannons Elementary. In Cowpens, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. How cool is that? Principals at each of those schools will hand the backpacks out on a student need basis. The first day of school for all Spartanburg County is Monday the 19th.